Hello and welcome to Art with Mrs. Buffo. Today we're going to be creating a folk art Santa Claus. Folk art patterns are found on all sorts of winter wear this time of year. And I wanna see what different patterns you can create to make your Santa's coat look unique and individual. Let's get started. Today we're talking about folk art. Folk art covers all forms of visual art made in the context of folk culture. Definitions vary, but generally, the objectives have practical utility of some kind, rather than being exclusively decorative. So this means that anything that has a folk art design is made for a specific use. So if we're looking at this Santa jacket that we're making today, its specific use is to keep St. Nicholas warm. And the folk art, the design, is the decorative aspect of it. But remember, it has a utilitarian purpose. It's designed to keep Santa warm. To start this project, each of us gets a white index card. We're gonna start by drawing two big circles for eyes. We will also add a little shape for a nose there, and then I'm putting some eyebrows on there. I'm gonna make my Santa eyes nice and big with those big black spots inside. Hey, is that a concentric shape? A shape inside a shape? I'm gonna draw the outline of where his face is, but Mrs. Buffo, there's no room for his mouth. That's because his mouth is hiding behind the silly beard. Take a look. The next step we're going to do is cut this out. We're going to trace around the back with our glue stick and paste it down to a piece of red paper. Going back to using our marker, we're going to add the rest of our Santa. Let's start off with the hat. We're gonna draw these curved, almost crescent lines over to the side, and I'm gonna add a ball at the end. Now we're gonna use some basic shapes to draw the rest of the Santa. We're gonna start out with some curved lines and a straight line. It's gonna look almost like a rainbow with a straight line under it. Now I'm adding some curved lines for each arm, and I'm going to add some mittens for hands. Next, my Santa is going to need some boots, so I'm going to again create some straight and curved lines to make this shape. Finishing off my project, I'm going to add this line to the center, which is traditionally white on a Santa's outfit. I'm not the originator of this project. This originally came from Deep Space Sparkle, and I wanted to show you this really neat um, outline that they've put together of some different folk art patterns. Going back to that definition of folk art from earlier, it's a specific design that has a really pretty repetitive pattern, but it's also used for something utilitarian. So it has a use. So again, this jacket is made to keep Santa Claus warm. And if you can see these cool little patterns that they've created, you can see a lot of repetition, things that happen again and again and again. So we're going to be adding these to our Santa's jacket. To do this, we're going to be using oil pastels. These oil pastels are going to show up almost opaque on top of this red paper. This is really going to make a stark contrast between the pigment that you're seeing um, applied from the oil pastels onto the Santa's jacket. I can't wait to see the different designs and ideas that you can come up with. Once you're done applying your pigment and your color to your project, you're gonna take your scissors, cut them out, and using that outline technique with glue, we're gonna paste him down to a backing paper. I'm choosing blue for mine. Adding my name to the bottom gives it a finished look. This is what my project ended up looking like. Once again, this project originally came from Deep Space Sparkle. This has been Art with Mrs. Buffo. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon.